Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Revo Co's, the Soul Flats Racer number 115 from the Cars on the Road episode, Soul Fever. Before we get right into the review and the retrospective, let's start with the unboxing first. Here we have his artwork, the Cars on the Road logo, the Carburetor Desert, the Carburetor County Desert Background, 2022, his name branding saying Revo Co's, his die cast sealed in, the Salt Flats map background, the Metal logo, the Mattel logo, and on the back we have the Road Trip map background, the Metal logo. As seen in the Cars on the Road episode, the cars featured on the back are Cars on the Road Cruise Amiras, also known as Rust, Dynaco Rusty's Racing Center Cruise Amiras, Road Trip Lightning McQueen, or in my case, Cars on the Road Lightning McQueen, Mark Sontimer. Noriyuki, Greebles, and Revoco's himself. 2021 Mattel, made in Thailand. The Mattel logo, empowering the next generation through play. The RSN logo, Racing Sports Network, Disney slash Pixar, www.disney.com slash cars. And now, without any further ado, let's get this car unopened. I'll be back right after this that had been unboxed. Here we got Revo Co's all opened up and out of the package. <clears throat> Revo Co's is a classic hot rod who bears the number 115 for the Classic Rods Division in Bonneville Salt Flats and he shares the same body mold as Gearston Marshall except that Gearston Marshall here doesn't have a engine, sc scoop engine an expo I mean an exposed engine during his appearance in the Cars on the Road episode, Salt Fever, he was seen being attended to by a nameless pity. Then later on in the episode, he, along with the other Salt Flats racers, were, were witnessing in Mater coming out of the out of the garage all being modified and he hasn't had any speaking lines in the episode at all and during his diecast releases he was released one time as a single then twice and in two multi-packs one from uh, which is a Walmart exclusive and another which is a dot com 9 or 10 pack and now without any further ado let's dig right into the review here we have his happy facial expression his exposed engine on the top of his hood his sky blue exterior from front to back and the and the bluish bit of bluish purple interior on the front and on both sides we've got the the white 
tires with the sky blue rims and an engine on both sides and a bit and the bluish purple on his on both sides of his enamel a white number 115 on both sides of his door and an a and a number saying J I J one J twelve zero seventy one I think and on the top we have a white number one fifteen and on the back we have his we got his trunk with the number one fifteen and the letters M C L and the back bumper and on the undercarriage it says Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand and that is it and now let's pull up some of the other salt flats racers we have Gearston Marshall Speed Demon, Royce Rebsley, Dax Jammin, and Mark Sontimer. And that is it. Oh, I forgot to mention that. Dat's Jamin right here was on the back of his diecast packaging. I just mis mistook him for Mark Sontimer over there. Here. I'm sorry for the mix up. But what do you guys think? Which Salt Flats racer is your favorite? Let me know what you think as well as leaving. Well. Let's say that my personal favorite is Royce Revsley because he's a Volkswagen Beetle, which I love Volkswagen Beetles. Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And Oh, and I also like to thank everyone for surpassing me 2300 subscribers recently and so far I've now passed halfway to 2400 so let's keep it going goodbye now